Um, I am the librarian in a, a rural, like I said, rural elementary school. It has about 400 students, K through six. Um, and our students, um, we have an extremely high poverty rate, so our students come from backgrounds where they don't have the opportunity to, you know, experience worldly um, you know, uh, skills, technology, all those things that students like in a larger city, larger school have the opportunity to experience. So. And attending some conferences, I was a few years ago learned about makerspaces and this, you know, push for the STEAM initiative. So I started kind of last year looking into what I could do with what I had. And I set up a makerspace in the library where students could use just everyday materials to build and be creative. And when an opportunity to do this grant, um, I learned about that, I thought, you know, that's a way that I can extend and buy some, um, some kits and things that might be able to uh, build that st station in the library. So um, what I plan to do is to purchase uh, some robotics kits, um, some circuit kits, some different things like that, so that we can start to incorporate um, the science and technology into our makerspace. And I work a little bit with um, the high school librarian, and she's uh, also doing the same, you know, a similar project to build that in her high school library, which is uh, actually middle school, high school. and. Um, so we're kind of trying to bridge that gap to get them started early, to introduce them to those, um, you know, 21st century STEAM skills that are pushing our kids, you know, to get ready for, for the job force that they'll uh, have the opportunity to enter when they're out of school. So we're working together, um, you know, to, to build that, to let them start early and to kind of work their way into um, more advanced kits and things um, in her library. So, um, like I said, I've already, we already set up last year to kind of just get off the ground, and uh, the kids really seem to enjoy it. They did a lot of writing projects, art projects, so we're trying to, like I said, build on that, that STEAM um, skills. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Yeah, what well, we have not uh, received, like the robotics kits and things we've ordered yet, those are you know still on, still on their way. But yes, they loved it. Yeah, and it was like open for them to use. Like I did, like have library instruction, and then when they would finish their work, they were able to go to that station, and they loved it. Yeah, it was it was a very popular choice. So. Um, well, that would be something in the future. I, you know, I, I've got a lot to learn myself to, to try to get that off the ground, but it would be something I would be, you know, interested in pursuing. Yep. So I know our county extension agent had, um, is working on, like the 4-H um, program is, has worked some on getting some um, materials and grants and programs together. So that's another uh, contact that I've been kind of working with to get it going, to get some interest with the kids.